everybody proud of me. Always going hard, a lot of people that doubt me. Always in the studio, got a masterpiece on my side of me. I remember I was young when they hated and doubted me. Now I'm bossed up, put my name on the property. And all right, coming up next is a middleweight matchup between Vanderlei Silva and Nick Diaz. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. Quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and Wondering why? Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on us, huh? Ah, it's crazy. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, left hook to the head and clock. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of tops. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Looking to land the right just out of range. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Well, fear is not a fact. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. It's a big knee. Oh, effective strike there by Diaz. And both guys really throwing with authority. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Our rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should pass. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Omo Platas in UFC history. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Diaz. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, what a round it was, especially from a strike. Are you ready? Are you ready? Round two here. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take. Oh! He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Beautiful knee. Oh, big left. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Okay. 
his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he got him! He got him! Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. <laughs> we have crossed the midpoint of this one. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed it out. Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's So aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivery. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges.